Hello, everyone. There is this MTV cartoon called Daria. Daria herself is a teenage girl about the same age as me, having grown up in an American chaotic family with stereotypical characters as her classmates and friends. She has always felt alienated from everyone. Being intelligent and as open-minded as possible, she spent most of her life observing and analyzing the personalities of people around her, realizing all the flaws and injustices of our society and the government. She is a real type and a down-to-earth individual. She sees the bitter reality behind the sheen materialistic comfort that she was born into. Daria is a strong principle and a moral person. I would say that the main characteristic of her mentality is cynicism, and her way of coping with the unbearable outer world. Using sarcasm, she views everything through an unpleasant and an unhopeful lens. Always makes clear of what she thinks and values with irony, and in a way, a tragic spirit. In this one episode, Daria is given a project at school to write a made-up story using her creativity. Even though she has never before struggled with writing, she found herself in a dry, empty desert without a single thought, which then somehow connects to the metaphors of her classmates, the people she despises. She did not want to interpret them into her own story, so she continuously scribbled and filled papers with unfulfilling and insignificant scenarios, using the same concept of unbearable reality that she never found a conclusion for. After deciding that she has failed and giving up on this task, the scene of Daria's and her mother's dialogue approaches, where she tells her about her problem. Her mother, in response, her mother explains to her that the easiest thing in the world for her is to be honest about what she observes. What's hard for her is to be honest about her wishes, about the way she thinks that things should be, not the way they are. She glosses over everything with a cynical joke, and no one ever finds out what she really believes in. She advises her daughter to be truthful about what and how she would like to happen or change. After hearing this, Daria gained a sense of harsh understanding of how she tends to deal with things, not really affecting or making an effort to actually change them. Afterwards, she tried again. And wrote about her future life that she always dreamed of inside of her heart, but was never really aware of. In this story, Daria was a journalist who wrote for people, talked about the truth, and tried to be sent into society while doing what she loved. She chose journalism as an effective way to bring progress into society. I think the key to transforming anything that we do not like, that we simply want to change, is first of all observing our own minds and finding our real wishes. I feel like digging into our own points of view is the starting point for growth and progression. How many times have you found yourself complaining to your friends and family on and on about the troubles that you face? Don't get me wrong; I understand that gaining other people's perspectives is often useful and sometimes even the most helpful way out of a dark corner, as it was for Daria. But is it really what gets you moving faster than actually sitting down and uncovering unvisited places of your minds? Before talking with her mother. Daria has never stopped for a moment and thought. Instead of covering up her inner world and beliefs with sarcasm, it would do her better to actually state her moral desires and aspirations in order to achieve progress. Only with great dedication towards imagining and unveiling the true potentials of the forthcomings does it become possible and actual to make an impact towards change. If you think about dreaming as its own concept, it is not always rational. But the important thing is, it arouses curiosity. A curious person is always driven towards innovations. This characteristic motivates a person for new ambitions, and they are usually the ones who make their ideas and thoughts come to life. Because, along with imagination, by discovering and searching, the scope of our overall view widens, which makes it possible for individuals to become aware of actual steps that are needed to be taken for perceptual action. And if we don't go through the full amplitude of a dream towards action, Unfortunately, the dream turns into a pure delusion and a waste of time. One of the greatest Georgian publishers and pub public figures, Ilya Chaudhary, wrote poems and stories stating his observations about Georgian nationality, our poor standards of living, and most importantly, the killing silence among people. He wrote poems about people who were asleep, about people who were supposed to be the last ones to give up on trying, last ones who had the right for, to stop working and hoping for a better future, for freedom. Ilya noticed that people lost hope and the will to dream. They forgot about the possibility that circumstances might still change. He meant that progress doesn't come from maintaining or adjusting to the existing order for the sake of surviving. It arises only when individuals dare to challenge it. I found this famous quote that I think suits Ilya's view as well. 
It says, dreaming is not without setbacks. It requires resilience in the face of adversity. Holding on to that hope for better, dreams of further improvements, it is simply put, hard to keep up. Because in places where injustice takes its lead and power over the crowd, individuals collapse and suffer from an inability to thrive. It is crucial in these circumstances that we use our power, rights, and imagination to come up with specific solutions. We have to push the younger generations to open up their minds and reach the concepts beyond borders to help them realize that dreaming and imagining is the starting point for future action that mm, determines the transition. With all that being said, I must admit that we certainly can help ourselves with a little sarcasm to lighten our experiences and hardships. But do not hide whatever you dream of behind barriers, like Daria used to do. Always demand change, first of all from yourselves, and do not ever stop hoping, do not ever stop dreaming. It is the possibility of a dream come true that makes life interesting. Thank you.